Does Europe have anything to teach us, and is anyone listening? Beginning to see what's happening in Europe, and a domino effect is taking place. First, the uh, Greece was the was the first to go, but we're beginning to see that there is a holdout with these with these other nations in terms of uh, <clears throat> in terms of bailouts. Uh, but all of these dominoes could fall, and the question is: Is America uh, learning anything from what's taking place in Europe? It seems, if you look at the economic policies here in the United States that the United States is headed down the same road as Europe. And I have on the line uh, Bojidar Marinov, who has some experience in all of this, being from Bulgaria. He's a reformed missionary to his native Bulgaria uh, for over 10 years. He preaches and teaches doctrines of the Reformation and a comprehensive biblical worldview. He is the founder of the Bulgarian Reformation Ministries. And his team has, uh, have, tr he and his team have translated over 30,000 pages of Christian literature about the application of the law of God in every area of life. Uh, Bojadar, welcome to the show. Hi, Gary. Good morning. Uh, you're going to be speaking at our Worldview Conference, and uh, this is the first time you have spoken for us. And I, I have to tell you, I'm a little jealous. Uh, you, you do our... Uh, our, one of our weekly articles uh, most every Wednesday, and they seem to get much more attention than anyone else here at American Vision. Uh, so um, as I've, I'm sure that you've seen that as well, that your articles have been very popular. And I think one of the reasons for it is not only because you're a good writer, but also because uh, you've had some particular experience with what's going on in in your own native country of Bulgaria, but also what's going on in Europe generally. G give us a little background of this because this is going to be the topic of, of uh, your talk, uh, one of your talks at our Worldview Conference uh, this July. Well, um, one thing that uh, you can see Gary, here in the United States is that the United States, because of, of its thoroughly Christian background, I mean, wh whether, whether people here admit it, or whether they're aware of or not, uh, there is a very thorough Christian background here. The United States has been saved for quite a while from all the turmoil that we had in Europe, because Europe, um, I would say, abandoned its Christian background long ago. Well, uh, what's happening today can be traced back to that abandoning of Christian background. And, and honestly, I think America has something to learn from Europe, even in a negative way, because Everything you see in Europe today is is the outcome, the outworking of that uh, um, Enlightenment mentality that that Europe adopted, rather than you know abandoning the Christian worldview. Yeah, it really, this this didn't come about because someone put a gun to someone else's head. I mean, this was a this was a self-conscious, probably step by step step self-conscious. Uh, uh, series of actions that, that got to this point, and that's part of the problem I think we're facing here in the United States. There's no revolutionary action taking place, uh, although I, you know, with some of these policies coming down, down the pike, that it, it may be that way, but people don't see these little, pers uh, you know, incremental changes and see how over, over a long period of time uh, they accumulate to the point where you end up finally turning around one day and you find out your freedoms are, are, are gone. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, Bulgaria and, and what happened there, and give us uh, some comparison with what's taking place um, in, uh, in, in, in Western Europe on, on, in, in the same sort of actions. All right, well, uh, several things that can be, uh, I think, can be taken as, uh, as lessons is there are a few tenets of the uh, overall the prevalent religion in Europe, and one of the, of course, which is the Bible has nothing to say to real life. Okay? And, and, of course, if the Bible has nothing to say to real life, there is no other source, no transcendental source, but it's the government, so the government is the one that tells you what to do, you know, in real life. Another thing, when people say, well, I don't want to, well, there are some people that say, I don't want to give my freedom to the government, you know, and there are still people like that in Europe. The next step is 
Well, what the government is going to do is the government is going to give you something for nothing. Yeah, and I think, yeah, yeah. I think here in the United States, I mean, you've got lots of Christians. And this, see, we, we think that what's happened in Europe today is kind of a, a, a secular response to all these things. Well, the Bible doesn't apply to every area of life. Uh, yeah. And we say how horrible that is. And yet you've got Christians here in the United States who believe that the Bible doesn't apply to every area of life. And they do make this kind of dualistic play uh, for their own lives. That the, Bible, the Bible's for the church and maybe family devotions and maybe if you homeschool, yeah. but it doesn't apply over here in law and politics and journalism and so forth. And, uh, and I mean, it, it's kind of shocking to see that Christians have fallen into this trap uh, and they have adopted the same type of worldview as the secularists. Exactly, exactly. And of course, in order to lure people into that, you know, the, the government and the, the governments must give, you know, something in, in exchange to that, and that is... Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make you prosperous without you having to work. It's it's a it's a really an, a, a primitive magic mentality where people are taught that it just the government makes some manipulations, you know, to, in 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 the world, and and you get something for nothing. And basically, what's happening in Greece and in Spain and in France and in Eastern Europe is exactly an outcome of that. Because once you abandon the biblical mentality that you have to work in order to take dominion of the world, well, the next thing is, I mean, the alternative is magic. I mean, you just manipulate the forces, and you get something for nothing, but guess what? It just don't work. Yeah, in fact, if you, the, the tipping point is once you get 50% plus of the people, you know, getting uh, transfer payments from the government, everybody says uh, from the government, it's really not coming from the government. The, the, the government is simply extracting that money from the more productive members of society. But once you get beyond the 50 percent, I mean, it's really hard to, to, to go back. I mean, you're going to have a continual, continual voting population uh, that's going to want the higher taxes because the, the people who, who have these government jobs or these government subsidies know that if people aren't taxed at the highest levels, they're going to be out of a job, they're going to be out of work, and then they end up going to the streets and they demonstrate how serious they are about this by dragging people uh, into the streets. And I think in Greece there were three people who were actually killed but who, were, who were part of a bank. And this, this, they were burned to death. Burned to death. Yeah. And, you know, that, this, is a, this is a shocking thing. And yet we have in our own government today, our own politicians, who seem to be following the same policies that are, go, that, that are bringing Greece down and the, and the rest of the, uh, the European Union. Yes. In fact, I, uh, uh, every time I talk to somebody from Eastern Europe, and especially people from Russia, and we know how brutal communism was in Russia, and, and they had communism applied in practice all the way through, and, and they're looking at what's going on around here, and they, they're saying, what are you guys doing? <laughs> it didn't work in, in the Soviet Union. Why do you think it's going to work here? Well, this is why we wanted you to come to our conference to kind of give people a, a, a bit of a perspective on all this. and. Uh, I really do appreciate all of the work that you've done, uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier in this, in this segment, uh, the, a lot of our readers uh, have been uh, sending your articles all over the place, and I hope it's been uh, helping you in, great, in gaining some attention uh, for what's going on in Bulgaria and your ministry uh, work. And uh, so for those of you who are contemplating coming to the conference, uh, uh, listening to uh, Bojadar on these topics will be a real eye-opening event. And because we have kind of a, 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 an open aspect to our, to our conference, sitting down with Bojadar and other speakers will be helpful to you. Everybody here is, is, is open and willing to do that. Uh, so again, the American Visions Worldview Conference is July 21st through the 24th. If you want more information about that, you can go to AmericanVision.com. Click on the events button and get all the information that's necessary. Uh, Bojadar, once again, thanks for coming on the show and looking forward to see you. I guess I'm going to see you this weekend because you're going to be at one of our many conferences in Birmingham, Alabama. Yes, Gary, I'll be there. And I okay. thank you very much for uh, letting, me, uh, letting me ride for American Vision. Well, I, pre I appreciate all the work that you're doing. So I, I'll see you this weekend and then again see you again in July. Okay, well, thank you very much. All right.
American Vision is proud to present this year's Worldview Super Conference, July 21st through 24th at North Metro Church, Marietta, Georgia. For more information, visit conference.americanvision.org. That's conference.americanvision.org.